What's up everybody? Today in this video we're going to be talking 250 versus 450 and which one I would rather have if it was my primary bike. So stick around because you might be surprised. I know a lot of you are thinking probably I would just pick the 250 because of what I've said in the past because let's be honest in the past I've kind of poo-pooed 450s a lot and part of the reason is because I'm trying to keep people from buying a 450 as their first bike. I actually just had a neighbor here recently go out and get a Honda CRF 450R as his first bike. He's a middle-aged man and you can you can probably see where where that goes. However, I've been riding these Hondas now for the last several months and I'm maybe 10, 11 years into my riding career and I've developed different opinions on these bikes. Before I get too far into this, I should mention that both of these bikes are sweepstakes bikes and you, yes, you can win these bikes. Go to my website, dirtbikechannel.com right now and get entered to win them. But you have to do it before June 30th, so don't delay. The point is, there's some really good virtues. I've got the 250 version right here. I've got the 450 version right here. These are both 2022 models and they're absolutely fantastic. I wanna share with you some of like, what I would say are the pros and cons for each bike. And then I'll go through and I'll tell you which one I would take personally, okay? So mainly with the four, with the 450 over here, you've got the, one of the pros for the 450 is you've got power for days. The power never ends. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. One of the cons though is that there are there is power for days on that bike. And it's really easy to kind of get behind the motorcycle or get yourself into trouble where you've got whiskey throttle or you're just kind of riding above your head. It's very easy to do that on a 450 especially if you don't have good throttle control and if you're new to the sport. Another pro for the 450 is that it has an even more planted feel on the trail than the 250 does. Now the 250 still has a really planted feel. This, this Honda chassis and suspension is very, very planted, but the 450 has even a little bit more of a planted feel. The downside though is that the 450 does take you a little bit more energy to change direction. When you're on this thing, if you're in the woods or whatever, you do feel the weight of it more so. The 450, you feel that weight more so than when you're on the 250 and it does take a little bit of extra effort for you to get it to change directions. Something else I really like about the 450 is that you can ride it a gear higher. You can just shift up a gear and keep the RPMs lower because it's got so much torque through that lower RPM and mid range, you can just like click up a gear and just keep the RPMs low. That keeps your traction really good. A con though is that this bike will stall very easily at low RPMs and it kind of sneaks up on you. It's got so much power, but the 450 will stall boom, like just like a, it will be lights out like a flame out really quickly in those low, low RPMs. So you need to be careful of that. The last pro that I'll talk about for the 450 is that you can kind of ride it a little bit lazy. It's, it, it, it's, it's just, it allows you to kind of just stay in one gear for longer. And a lot of guys really, really like that. It's probably one of the best things about a 450 is it just allows you to just kind of stay in the same gear and go. The con to that though is it can make you kind of complacent. And especially if you ride other bikes, if you got two strokes, if you have other motorcycles, riding a 450 can really kind of get you lazy and complacent, which I don't think is a good thing overall for our riding. Okay, so let's talk about the 250 pros and cons. First pro is it feels really, really agile and nimble. I would much rather be on the 250 if I'm riding the woods and I'm changing direction a lot just because it just is more nimble and doesn't take as much energy as the 450 does. A con though is that the 250 actually stalls a little easier at a little bit higher RPM than the 450. So on the 450, you gotta be worried when the RPMs are really low that you're gonna stall it. On the 250, you can stall it even at a little bit higher RPM, say like 2,500, maybe 3,000 RPMs. You can still stall this bike and it really kind of sneaks up on you. One of the things I love about the 250 is there's not too much power here. It has enough power for sure to do just about anything, but there's not so much power that it really can kind of get you into trouble like you can have on the 450. It's a really good balance of torque and power and high RPM, you know, high, high RPM fun factor, but not too much power. One of the cons of the 250 is it's a little less planted. This is still more planted than basically all of my two strokes. So this sucker, this sucker stays straight in whoops. It stays awesome off jumps and those types of things, but it isn't quite as planted and quite as rigid, like bolted to the ground as the 450 is. The last pro that I would say for this 250 RX is this is a realistic track bike for me. I've been to the track a couple times with this bike and it doesn't have too, too much power. And it actually, even though it's got the desert suspension, I can still ride moto with this thing and it works really well. The 450, I don't think would work as well for me because I'm just not good enough. And so this is a really good track bike for me. One of the cons though, is that 
You can't really be lazy on a bike like this. It, for, it demands that you stay in the RPMs and you stay in the pipe and stay in the power, which for me, as a little teeny bit more of an aggressive rider, not that I'm crazy aggressive, but I really like that. But for some guys, you know, some guys just wanna be lazy and ride a 450. So that's just a con for this. You gotta be a little bit more deliberate with it. Okay, so you're probably wondering which one would I pick? But I'm gonna give you two different scenarios. Scenario number one is that it's my only bike and I can only ride one bike for the entire year. And if that's the scenario, I'm taking the 250. I'm taking the Honda CRF 250RX because I just feel like for me, it's gonna be better in a wider variety of things and I'm gonna spend less energy and I'm gonna be less frustrated at the end of the day and just have an overall better time for the type of riding uh, that I like to do. But here's the thing, I do have more than one bike and I basically always have a two stroke in my possession. So. If I were to keep one of these two bikes, for me personally, I would definitely take the 450. And you've just gotta hear me out. It's because I have other bikes that I can go ride single track. I have other bikes that I could techni go, technically go take to a track. What I don't have is a 450 that is ab like an absolute man eater. And one of the things I'm always looking for in a second bike is a change of pace bike. I want a bike that is so different from the other bikes that I have, and it really just keeps you on your toes. And this Honda CRF 450RX does that for me. It really keeps me on my toes, and it really energizes me for riding, because a lot has changed in my riding career. I'm a little bit better of a rider than I was six, seven years ago, the last time I had a 450, and I've had a total blast on this thing. They've made some great improvements to it, as far as the 450s from the time I had them to now, probably mostly it's just been me. Probably I'm just more comfortable. I have better position on the bike. I have better throttle control. I have better yada, yada, yada. And so for me right now, if you said, Kyle, you're gonna throw one, you're gonna give one of these bikes away and you're gonna keep the other one um, because I'm keeping a two stroke, I'm gonna take the 450. I'm gonna take the 450. Here's the thing though. Both of these bikes are gonna be giving away to a viewer just like you. I need you to know that with these sweepstakes, it is so, the, the odds are so much better than you think. Literally, according to my analytics, less than 1% of the people who watch my videos enter these sweepstakes and both of these bikes are being given away in the month of June here. Go to my website, dirtbikechannel.com before the end of June and get your entries. There's multiple ways that you can get entered and these bikes are absolutely freaking amazing and they're going to go to good homes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I surprised you a little bit because yes, I'd take the 450 in my case right now because I've got a KTM 250XC, I've got a KTM 300XCW, and so boom, I'm gonna, I would take the 450 and that would be my bike of choice out of these two. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can always email me. It's kyle at dirtbikechannel.com. Uh, I can answer your questions. We can set up a call if we need to and man, go get entered to win these bikes because they're stinking amazing. Okay, thanks so much for watching and leave a single track.